today I was able to uh, download iPad OS 13 and use it um, <coughs> with my uh, iPad Pro 11 inch and I'm really excited to use it not because of you know using it in place of touch you know using it with the mouse but more so because I can use this to uh, remotely connect to a desktop like this so <laughs> so this is really amazing what I did is I assigned both the left click and the right click to be used as a single click or single tap so that is a tap for example let's see if I go to that folder download folder that's a tap desktop that's a tap so if I use either the left click basically any any key the, that you assign as a single click right you can hold and that's your second click that's your right click basically so um, for me because I am used to or most people are used to using left and right click uh, you know usually left side and the right side so I what I did I assigned both of these uh, mouse keys as uh, you know, single click so for left click I use the left button and for the right click I just tap and hold for a second and then the right click menu comes up my scroll bar I assigned it as home button so I'm gonna go home I'm gonna show you what I did uh, settings <clears throat> accessibility this setting you should know or if not you can just follow also touch assistive touch make sure that's on scroll down pointing devices if you haven't connected then you should just uh, go to Bluetooth devices and then do the pairing here I am connected to MX master 2s uh, that's the mouse um, and then the keyboard uh, is a k380 both of them are from uh, Logitech really awesome so this is the keyboard uh, <clears throat> Bluetooth and this is the mouse both are highly highly recommended that you could use with multiple devices so anyway I'm gonna go back uh, pointing device and so as you can see button one and two basically this button right here one and two I assign both of them to be single tap this way uh, what happens is this way uh, when I have to right click it's as if I am using right click but uh, just a slow right click so new and let's see if I want to type something remotely which I was able to do before anyway So now, as you can see, the typing doesn't really want to work right away, um, even though it's paired. So for remote desktop typing, you have to click this uh, icon, whatever method you're using, whether it's uh, VMware or something else, click on it, and then there's a on display keyboard. You have to just bring it out one time. So just tap it. So now, as you can see at the bottom, that's the on-screen uh, on screen uh, display that just came out or the on-screen keyboard that came out and this button for, for my case that's bring brings it out or you know hides it but it doesn't totally hide it there's a little bar this kind of like activates it so now I can type so there you go um, right click works left click works and uh, this is just uh, amazing I'm gonna go to Chrome and obviously you now I just did double tap right there Let's go to google.com. That's your Google. Let's go to msn.com. Let me back up a little bit. Uh, as you can see, this setup is totally, totally wireless. This, this could now totally act as a little bit slow, but uh, uh, desktop or uh, laptop replacement. Let's go to YouTube. Minimize that. Right click on the status bar so I could minimize or close. And same thing uh, here. That's the other browser. I could right click right there, taskbar. And uh, this does most of the work, uh, you know, most of what you need uh, when using a mouse, traditional mouse. So I hope. All of you can take advantage of this newly available mouse support feature 
uh, from iPad OS. Thanks for watching.